Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, CDRI. Now, this is not a new initiative, although it's a big thing and it will stay relevant for uh, a few more years in UPSC also. Why? Because it is a global initiative on infrastructure risk reduction, which was taken by India. So this is in news because this year at COP26, India gave a follow on initiative to implement the CDRI in a subset of countries. So what those countries are, what the initiative is, what CDRI is, why was it introduced? We'll find out all these answers through this short prelims revision series video. Let's start. So basically what the CDRI is, is it, was, it is Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure and it was introduced in 2019. It is India's initiative for climate change adaptation and adaptation mind well. We are not trying to mitigate climate change here. We are trying, we, we have accepted that climate change is going to happen. It is very real. It is going to have some disastrous impact and we have to be ready for that impact. And for that, we've introduced this coalition. Coalition means it's a grouping. It's not a project, it's a grouping. So for, sometimes from the names also, we can deduce what the thing is trying to do. It's an intergovernmental organization for disaster resilient infrastructure. So it was set up in 2019 and the task is infrastructure risk management. This group of countries have come together for managing the infrastructural risks that are necessary, that we must foresee, that we must tend to for climate change adaptation. Now, how many people are part of this grouping, part of this coalition? So there are just 22 countries at present and seven organizations, which are heavyweights, which are part of this CDRI. So why was this basically introduced? CDRI was introduced and it is headquartered in Delhi because it was the initiative of India. Can you name any other big uh, grouping that was introduced at the initiative of India? Yes, the International Solar Alliance and it is headquartered in Guru Gram. This one is in Delhi. Now. Why was this introduced? Because in 2015, like the Paris Agreement, we also, um, UN countries, they also subscribed or signed up for another set of goals for the period of 2015 to 2030. And this was the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. Countries felt that disaster risk is very real and we need to take steps to reduce this disaster related risk. So we need to reduce disaster mortality. We need to reduce the number of people who die as a result of disasters. And not just people who die, we also need to reduce the number of people who are affected. So it's not necessary that only if you die, you are at risk. Even if you uh, have lost your uh, cattle, if you lost your uh, arm, maybe all these things means that you are affected and you are at risk. Other than mortality and uh, being affected by disaster, there is also a huge economic loss. If you've lost your cattle, other than the emotional loss, you will also have to suffer a lot of economic loss. You might have lost your house. You might have lost your place of work. So all this would uh, in mean that you have suffered an economic loss. And all these three kinds of losses, whether it's a loss of life, economic loss, or being affected in any way, this can be reduced if we reduce the risk to critical infrastructure. What is critical infrastructure? Uh, critical infrastructure can be the major highways, the power transmission lines, the water transmission pipelines, all these basic things which affect a large part of the people community. All these things are critical infrastructure. In Basically, infrastructure is anything that is uh, physical, uh, uh, layout for facilitating things. Now, when we are trying to facilitate power transmission, so it's power infrastructure, and it is critical because a lot of things depend on power. Imagine one day there is a power cut in your area. You might have to uh, suffer a lot of things. You might not be able to work. You know, might not be able to study. You might not be able to connect the internet. So that is why such infrastructures are called critical in nature. And this fourth objective of the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction is being targeted through 
CDRI through the coalition of disaster resilient infrastructure. Now, India targeted a subset of countries towards this risk reduction. So, India said that the majority of the countries who are at risk of climate change, these are the small island developing countries. So all these countries uh, near the equator, these small islands like Palau, like uh, PNG, like Solomon Islands, East Timor, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobacco, all these Caribbean countries, all these uh, oceanic countries, these are small island developing states. They don't have huge GDP, huge economy, but the sufferings they will have will be huge. So India said that this should be our prime target to ensure that we have climate change adaptation. We have adapted to climate change. So India launched this initiative called Infrastructure for the Resilient Island States. So India said, first of all, to create disaster resilient infrastructure, we will target these small island developing states and we will encourage infrastructure for these resilient island states. So it is launched by India and UK at COP26 at Glasgow. Who's COP? Who's Conference of Parties? Conference of Parties to UNF Triple C. Here India launched this infrastructure for resilient island states. ISRO will help monitor cyclones, coral reef monitoring, coastline monitoring, etc. Everything for these uh, small island developing states. ISRO will provide uh, real-time information to these, resilient, to these island states to make them resilient. And India will also help in their capacity building. Uh, once they receive the information, India will help them how to disseminate this information, how to make use of this information, how to create disaster resilient infrastructure. So basically, this is the objective of infrastructure for resilient island state. This is one of the project under CDRI. And this project was launched by the initiative of India and UK at COP26. So this is all. Happy learning.